Hey, how's it going everybody? I am Sir Nando and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video guys, I will be showing you how you can get some secret storable vehicles on GTA 5 Online and the location of them where you can find them. Anyways, I do hope that you guys will enjoy today's video. Of course, not many people have that many rare modded cars in the game or even know the location of them. So I thought, hey, why not show off some of them to you guys just in case you want to keep them for yourself. But anywho, if you guys can do me a huge favor by supporting me and my channel by dropping the like, it will be ever so much appreciated. Let's try to get this video to over 3,000 likes in total. It will be awesome if you guys did so. Anyways, if you're new here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I upload daily GTA 5 videos to help you guys out. So if you don't want to miss out on videos like that, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And lastly, if you guys are wondering, this footage is from my good friend Rambo. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. He is the one who provided me the footage. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's begin today's video. Alright, so the first vehicle on this list is going to be the Sultan. Of course, the vehicle has been customized as I'm showing off right here to prove that this vehicle has many customization abilities that you guys can add to the car itself and Los Santos Custom. This car is a beast and very unique looking. If you guys want something a little bit special inside your garage, then I definitely recommend for you guys to do so. As we can see right here, the vehicle does pack a punch with the customization stuff that you guys can add to the car in Los Santos once again. So if you guys want something really unique looking and want something that stands out in the streets of Los Santos, then I recommend for you guys to do so by getting this car. Now basically, I'm going to be showing the location of it where you can find this vehicle on the map. Of course, you guys want to go all the way here, this location, and the vehicle will spawn probably around someone driving the vehicle around randomly by, you know, possessing inside of it. Or you'll see the car parked right here in the side in the curb, as we can see right here. Of course, once you see the car, you guys want to go ahead and steal it, and then you guys can proceed with driving the vehicle towards your garage or just taking it to Los Santos Custom and start the modding process of the car. Alright, so the next vehicle on this list is going to be the Sentinel. Of course, many people have trouble looking for this vehicle as I do get messages about it all the time. So I'm going to be explaining this the easiest way possible for you guys can get this vehicle to spawn in for you. First of all, come here around 23.00 to 3 o'clock in the morning in game time. Also, if you guys can, get a friend who already owes a Sentinel to let you borrow his vehicle and drive it around around that time where I just said and then that increases your chance of the vehicle spawning in for you. So as we can see right here, a sentinel did spawn on the street and I just went ahead and took the vehicle for myself. Now if you guys want to, you can keep driving the sentinels inside of your garage. It will keep spawning in the same part of the street for you guys and you can literally fill your whole garage up with this same vehicle. Another unique thing about this Sentinel is the vehicle had been pre-modified for you guys by the pedestrians. So if you guys want to go ahead and sell it and make about ten to eleven thousand dollars then you guys can do so. And lastly the vehicle that I'm going to be showing is a motorcycle. Of course I don't really show that many of them in my video so I thought about showing this unique looking one right here. Now you guys can also customize the vehicle as you just saw right there but this is how the default version of the vehicle looks like on the map. You guys want to meet me all the way here on the map and then the vehicle will spawn in for you around the curb. Of course if the vehicle is not there when you guys check then come here a couple of times the vehicle will spawn in eventually you just need to be persistent and be patient and eventually the vehicle will come in for you. So just in case you guys are wondering here's a little bit background information regarding the bagger. Of course if you guys are interested and want to know a little bit more about it then there you go but of course this vehicle does have loads of customization abilities that you guys can add to the vehicle itself and i strongly recommend for you guys to keep it and go ahead and find it if you guys want something unique looking inside of your garage but well, that pretty much wraps up today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to do me a huge favor and drop a like in the video, it will be ever so much appreciated. Let's try to reach over 3,000 likes in total. Also, if you're new here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I upload daily GTA 5 videos to help you guys out. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Twitter if you have any questions there. Anyway guys, see you later. Bye!